So let's talk about Mexico. Um, back. Uh. Oh man, everything was great. Let's talk about when you first step in. You know what I'm saying? Like when you first step in, they gave you your drink in the shot. So we got a margarita in the shot. Now me personally, I don't be you know doing shots like that. You know, unless a shot I made, I don't be doing shots. But I look, and and it's, you know the first instinct is to always smell because you don't know something. You know, alcohol from different countries is not like the alcohol that you're used to in your area. So I sniffed it, I said, mm-mm, and continued to drink the margarita. And I made it my duty to to just discard that. And I didn't want to do it in their face, because first of all, you don't do that. It's rude. So they gave us, you know, drinks. My driving drinks on the birthday. And I was like, is someone gonna be okay with this? I was like, oh yeah, okay. So long story short, we got drinks, everything was great, and then we got our, you know, our shuttle to the hotel, and oh, it was so pretty. Everything was so great about it. They had a lot of stuff in PVR. Uh, I'm gonna say PVR because I don't want to butcher um, the name of the uh, hotel of the country itself. So I'm gonna say PVR a lot. Um, so we looked around, we're looking around, you know, doing our little sightseeing and everything. And we just kept noticing that there were a lot of pharmacies in this, on this, in this part of Mexico. Lots of pharmacies and all that stuff. Um, that, that's just something I noticed. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of pharmacies. And, of course, a lot of really good, great tour attractions. You know, like, they had, like, a Walmart. Um, there was, like, a mall. They had cool stores. And just all that cool stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it was a lot of pharmacies. Lots of pharmacies, lots of drugstores. Wasn't that many gas stations? Well, I wasn't really looking at that. But they had like, you know, their basic hotels. And then we kept, you know, looking at different resorts. And I was like, which resort we're gonna go to? So this this is called it's called Secret and Dreams Resort in PVR. When you, oh man, you get in there and it's like a big old mansion. Like it was, it was, it was dope. It was really dope. Um, it was dope. It was really dope. And um, just walking there was amazing. We checked in the hotel. Everything was just like grand, you know, we checked in the hotel and, you know, it was just, the, the service was excellent. They carried our bags to, you know, they, they had our bags and it was like, well, you know, we can't really carry your bags up to your room if you're not there. I felt that that was a little bit, that was respectful. So, you know, my mom was like, yo. Let's go to the room now. He was like, okay. So we're going to the room. And it was only one bed, but there was a like a little chair, so I was able to do that. But big king size bed. When you first walk in, you see this dresser and you see like paintings, and then you got this mirror. Almost like a picture frame, big picture frame like mirror. Then you see the bathroom. So 
the bathroom that you're used to, I don't, it, it doesn't matter, but, but it's certain areas, but the bathroom that you, I'm used to is, you know, the toilet and toilet paper or something. You know, the, se the bathroom is separate. Their bathroom was super separate. So it was, the, 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 the toilet was in one section, and then when you close that door, you get the shower and this jacuzzi-like bathtub. I was like, I don't do that in me. But they didn't have like typical ways to shield um like to 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 prevent people from barging in on you when you're taking a shower. They just had curtains. That uh, was a little bit weird, but you know. It's fine. Then you had that little dresser, you know, with the mini bar inside, coffee pot, some of the most amazing bottles of water, even though I thought the water was messed up. <laughs> but water and sodas and, you know, beers. You know, I let my mom, no, okay, I, I let my mother indulge in those. But I said, ooh, water, sodas. I didn't take the soda from a mini bar, but I did get sodas from like throughout the, the rest of the hotel resort. And then <laughs> you got the balcony. The balcony was amazing. You saw every aspect of the hotel. The ocean was there. The beach was there. It had multiple pools. There was a section where... um. Certain hotel guests had their own pool they can dip into. They feel like they're going in the in the, um, the general pools. It was amazing, man. But um, the highlight, one of the highlights of the trip was um, the different channels that they had. So they had, of course, your 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 regular Spanish channels and all that stuff like that. Then they had channels that were in English, but they had Spanish subtitles. And um, they also had channels where they showcased what was in the hotel. So, like, different adventures, spas. They had, like, some randy cabins. They displayed the menu and all that good stuff. And then, upon me looking at that, um, they, they had one particular channel that I wasn't expecting. They, they had a pornographic channel. It was only one. It was only it was only one, but they had a pornographic channel. And I was like, they got they had, they, they they allow you to watch porn in this in the hotel room? Cause like imagine if you just, you know, getting into it and you're looking at the porn and you hear housekeeping. And you don't got time to get yourself together, so you open the door and they I don't know. But yeah, they had porn and I was like, what? So I even though I, I would have watched it by myself, <laughs> even though I would have did that, I I, I respect for my mother because we shared we sharing the room. I didn't watch it. I would have watched that shit, but I, I ain't I, I ain't gonna lie. I saw it a couple times. It was just it was just not. It was not it. Um, but overall, the trip was amazing. We ate good food. We drank so good. We drank. Lot and I didn't have any bad juju in my stomach from the alcohol, so it's great. But we had good food. We went to this bomb restaurant. It was just everything. There were multiple restaurants. Um, some were available in the morning and the afternoon. Some were available until a certain time, and you know all that stuff like that. Everybody, every single. Particular part, part of staff had their mask on, and the only time that you were okay to take your mask off at was when you're at the pool, uh, when you begin to eat, um, when you got the beach, you take your mask off, all that stuff like that. But every single staff member had their mask on, whether they were cooking, whether they were doing house cleaning, whether they were doing room service, every set. Percentage of staff on their mask on. It was an amazing trip. 
uh, I am in desperate need of wanting to go back, and it's only been a day. Like, it, it was amazing. Um, the wedding went so extremely well. It was perfect. Oh my god, the wedding was so good. Um, the reception was awesome. They had a cocktail hour dinner reception. We were supposed to do brunch, but um, we either missed it or it just didn't happen. And I didn't really bother to ask my oldest brother about it because this was his friend's wedding, you know, because, you know, they're frat brothers and stuff. So either, 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 we, either me and my mother missed it or it just didn't happen. And it was on the last day. The last day, this is another highlight, the last day we saw them set up like a huge, almost like a banquet type thing outside. And I was like, is that for us? Or is that for something else? Let me tell you. They had a show outside in the, in, in, in the outside area of the hotel by the pool. Beautiful show. It was amazing. Had I known any better, I would have went down there myself and just sat there and watched the show. And they had food and drinks. It was really great. Um, There were other places where you could see like different shows, but we didn't get a chance to like really indulge in that. But despite all that, it was still a great time. Um, it was so, it was just so beautiful, relaxed, and I was able to get in the pool and just submerge. It was beautiful. We drank, we, you know, all that good stuff, and the wedding was perfect. And we came home feeling refreshed. Then we came home and, and realized that, um, despite that it was warm the first day, when we got on the, before we got on the plane, it, it, it was cold when we got back. It was really cold. And my stupid ass didn't pack um, proper shoes to come back to Baltimore. I had flip-flops and sandals. That's it. <laughs> I said, I don't, I don't, I think, I, I don't, I don't. It's, it's just something that says to me, I don't like do with trips in November sometimes because it gets cold when we come back home. But other than that, it was an amazing trip. I would love to go back. I feel like when I get enough money and, you know, achieve the amount of success I want to achieve and something I can grind with and, and, and focus on, I'm going to just go ahead and just retire from all that and just go back to uh, PVR because that place, it was just that beautiful. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, next year, it's the Dominican Republic, Punta Cana, for my cousin's wedding. Um, that's in August of next year. And uh, the entire family is gone. But let me tell you about. Man, it was just, oh man, it was so dope. It was really, it, it was just an amazing time. Um, I didn't have to worry about streaming, doing YouTube videos. I was like, oh, I'm going to do a couple of videos. I was like, mm. then I realized how great this was and relax. I was like, bruh, forget that stream schedule. I'm going to relax. But I did inform my friends in Discord that I'm having a good time. I did show them pictures of what the, of everything that I did. Um, the drinks. <laughs> um, drinks and food. And, oh, man, it was so amazing. Um, I'm going to get up off here because I have to figure out what to eat now. That's the one thing I'm missing is, like, ain't no room, ain't no room service here. You, you got to get your own food. But I love you guys. Um, I'm probably going to stream tomorrow. Uh, whenever I'm, I'm, I'm getting back to normal. Because right now, I think I'm experiencing a little bit of jet lag. 
But I love you. I'll see you in the next stream. But until then, you already know. Peace.